Welcome to Light Shines Focus, a daily video devotional with Frank Spear. These brief video lessons will highlight portions of Frank's weekly messages in an effort to make personal application to our lives. Today's focus is winging it. During last week's message, Let Your Light Shine, I stated that when it comes to reaching out to people with the good news of Jesus Christ by letting the light of our good deeds shine into their lives, there's one thing we absolutely cannot do, and that's wing it. Now by winging it, of course, I mean flying by the seat of your pants. And by flying by the seat of your pants, I mean going for it. These are modern idioms or expressions that we use to refer to improvising. And by improvising, of course, I mean doing something with little to no preparation or a rehearsal. Now that might be cool when it comes to jazz music or something like that, but when it comes to the really important things in life, especially when it comes to evangelism, winging it usually isn't such a great idea. And the strange thing about this is that when people talk about winging it, they're usually talking about something that's very hard to do, like doing a presentation at work, singing a song in front of a whole bunch of people. And then they'll usually say something like, sorry if I seem a bit disorganized here, I'm just winging it. I think the thinking here is that if we tell people we're winging it, that we're improvising, then perhaps they'll be more forgiving when we make a mistake or their expectations of us won't be too high. But when it comes to the really important things in life like raising a family or paying the bills or our performance at work or at school, our selection of friends or the selection of a spouse, um, even what we choose to eat or not eat, especially when it comes to letting our light shine before our family and friends, the last thing we can afford to do, once again, is wing it. There's another very common expression that we use in our day for when we do something perfectly, or almost perfectly, we say, I nailed it. Man, I nailed that. We even use that when we're encouraging others. We might say something like, hey, good luck in your performance tonight, man. I hope you nail it. As followers of Jesus Christ, no matter what season of life we're in, whether you're younger, whether you're older, we simply must seek to do our best for Him because He's done His best for us. And that means showing up prepared no matter what we're doing. We usually are prepared. We usually do do our homework when it comes to things like interviewing for the big job or buying the new SUV, even learning how to kill it in Angry Birds Rio. So the question is, can we do any less when it comes to letting our light shine for the Lord Jesus? Thank you for tuning in to today's Light Shine Focus. We hope you found this teaching to be a valuable addition to your daily walk with Jesus Christ. Light Shine Focus is part of the global ministry of AD70.net, your one-stop source for all things fulfilled. We'll see you next time.